The 90s have to hold this L, okay? Back in the 90s, we were so preoccupied by nonsense that we never realized how subtly the gender terminology and gender as a concept was taking hold. It just, you know, switched on papers one day and we all kind of just said, okay, whatever, and just went with it. And... (laughs) Now, we have this video, which was put on the radar by um, uh, Amazing Lucas and Barbara for U2C. They did videos on this as well, and so I was like, okay, really? Really, Mattel? Really, Mattel? That's right. Barbie. Barbie and Ken, the, 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 the infamous toy line. They have now decided to go with unisex um toys the unisex like you know uh or or as the term they're using gender neutral toys and it is just ridiculous <laughs> and what's even more unfortunate is that this particular video right here is being brought to us by time magazine so yeah this, this is uh this is nonsense non-compare let's get into it Kids right now, especially Gen Alpha kids, which are kids under the age of 10, they see gender very differently. They experience gender. So, I mean, not to ape off of something somebody else said, but we're talking about 10-year-olds, right? And the deal is, is that at the age of 10, like by the age, these kids should have their parents. Their parents should be guiding them, not, oh, yeah, well, whatever it is you want. By all means, Timmy, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. No, that's not the parent's job at all. The parent's job is to set boundaries and set guidelines for the kid. You've got to to mold that child and push that child in the direction that, you know, would lead them to the most fulfilling life as opposed to, you know, allowing society to do it, which we have definitely done here in the United States for far too long. Let's continue. Very differently perfect time to introduce this new doll line that is truly gender neutral. Introducing Creatable World, a doll line designed to keep labels out and invite... Wow. Like, do you see these kids? Do you see... Man. Good to... uh, What was that? Uh, Strong men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make uh, bad times. Yes, bad times make strong men. Strong men make good times. Good, yeah, you you get what I'm saying. Deal is, is that by the '90s, I mean, we hadn't been in a full on uh, conflict for a while, and things got good. Things were really cool, and you know, grooving. Everybody's having a fun, and this type of nonsense has been allowed to permeate. And we're talking about 30 years here now. We're talking about two generations more than more than a few lifetimes let's go everyone in the whole objective of this doll is eliminating all the adult labels that we put on it all the adult label though you mean the real world labels the labels that you know have guided our society to the point where you can sit here and say, "Oh yeah, and whatever." You don't have no nothing else to worry about, huh? This is your big uh, goal in life. Come on, man. The kids, they did not want their toys to be labeled. They don't want rules set around their play. And what we heard from parents was an increasing concern about genderizing toys. Okay, which parents? Because this is the, uh, I, I keep hearing this all the time. I hear this, oh, well, we heard from people. We heard from parents. We heard from, like, when I was, um, <laughs> like, in my district, the mayor had a um, meeting about the Taco Bell that was put dead in the center of the township. And a lot of people were like, we never asked for a Taco Bell. And the mayor's like, well, you know, a lot of people didn't want the Taco Bell, but these this lot of people never showed up. Who are these people? Call them out. There should be parents in, hopefully, hopefully, because I haven't seen the entire video yet, but hopefully there are parents in this video that can explain exactly why the hell they are, they're letting their children guide them as opposed to them guiding their children, because this is, this is completely backwards. This will be really challenging for a population of people. We will challenge people's points of view about... 
And this is some weirdo who probably needs um, a scent stick in her life, okay? <laughs> because, I mean, far gone, man, and just placated, you know? Like, this is a person that, uh, Jess, Jess Wiener, your last name's Wiener, really? Okay, you know, I'm going to be an adult about this. Cultural cultural expert, Mattel consultant. So this is some some person that was hired by Mattel to, oh yeah, let's create all this weird stuff and more weirdos because that's definitely what we need. And let's not pretend like it's not weird shit, okay? It is weird. It is the abnormal. There's a reason why we have the term normal and abnormal because guess what? You can't make the abnormal normal. That's not how it worked. How they think boys and girls should play. And they can make that doll, whatever the hell. I mean, didn't it take them like 50 years to make a uh, black Barbie or something like that? <laughs> And then they complained, oh, Bar Barbie says, like, they, like, Mattel is definitely one of the companies that'll sit there and just, like, listen to one person complain, oh, my goodness, they don't have a Barbie with natural hair. You know what? Fine. Screw it. We'll make a Barbie with natural hair. I'm very interested to see how this sells, because, let's be real, these, these separations, these points, they come from biology, right? They come from um, science that has taken place over centuries to define um, where what's the name goes where you know the the pink and the blue thing the the the, the more innate features of either male or female like this is stuff that has been studied for f so long that they ran out of stuff and they needed to start making new stuff and that's what took place i remember when i was a kid in biology like okay i bet this is photosynthesis and this is the reproductive system and all this other stuff and okay boom got it great and then you come along and just say oh no 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 we have even more for you like wait a second you're kind of piling on here champ <laughs> It's so funny, parents often tell me that they want to raise their boys to be really wonderful fathers. Okay, but that's the thing. They haven't done it. So exactly why would you like just say, hey, yeah, you, that's your job. You do want to raise your child to be a wonderful father. And then you set that example because you're the one that they're watching, particularly from one to ten. That's that's literally your job is to guide them and do the best that you can by setting the by setting a good example. That's what you're supposed to do, not some toy company. That's not it. What do we expect to raise wonderful, nurturing fathers if we don't encourage nurturing play? And that's the thing. How how dare you sit here and say there are no wonderful, nurturing fathers? There's been a million and three. I had one. So don't sit here and say, oh, how do we figure this out? My goodness, without our brand new science and, uh, and, and ideology, I mean, by all means, they, uh, yo, she a consultant. She making bank, man. She making bank. I don't know why you dressing like that. But I mean, this is just for the bitch. She's being interviewed by Time, who used to have credibility. Not anymore. So Barbie was created 60 years ago. The benefits of playing with dolls, interestingly, has not changed. Because it was supposed to well, see what Barbie was supposed to do was like, hey, ladies, this is how you be a lady. This is, you know, what I'm saying the, the, a way of, you know, what I'm saying a way of being. But what, like I said, it's like 30 years, so much time. Hey, we, we got to keep coming up with new things. And another thing I can guarantee you, there's not going to be a single penis in this entire video. <laughs> It's always been about storytelling and imagination self-expression. Actually, initially, it was just about, like, you know, pushing uh, femininity, which was a beautiful thing. Hey, this was something to aspire towards. You know what I'm saying? Definitely want to be fit. Definitely want to take care of yourself. Right? We'll get that. Get that. I mean, uh, clearly, there have been people who have... Um, gotten like plastic surgery to have the barbie look like i remember this is like asian guy who um have heart plastic surgery look like a ken doll so let's not pretend as if you do not have a psychological hold on certain aspects of the uh of society i mean definitely those who 
see that as idealism you know and to an extent was that bad to put that um to put that type of idea in the kids who knows but is this worse i, I gotta say man you're sitting here telling that saying hey there, no there's no innate differences between boys and girls if males and females and you're just wrong this is this is child this is this is the worst type of manipulation man i'm taking my kid to thailand going a mountain I should. The one that I got, it looked just like me. It looked cool. It's, yeah. It's important that kids of all different types can see themselves reflected. Where are their parents? Where are their parents? But that's the thing. They're probably their parents. And we got all these single mothers and completely... I'm, I'm talking about like weak-wristed uh, fathers running around here. Like, my God. In culture and media and especially in the toys that they play with we are welcoming all kids to play with it and they're in charge of the stories that they want to tell and the characters that they want to create that is a powerful thing for a child like how you can like change a little black boy is that a little black boy sitting there chilling in his dress i mean shoot they at least gave the white kid uh <laughs> like a shirt and stuff Nah, I, th I can't help but feel like that's a, that's a little. I mean, it might be a girl. I'm, I, it could be a girl, but something tells me because you look at all these athletes, all these trans athletes. A lot of them, uh, like you know, rocking the rocking the pigment, rocking the melanin. The hair and stuff, and it can be this or it can be this. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a boy. Why <laughs> like that's a boy? Jeez. Oh my golly. Yeah, I'm wait, let me get my sister. In creating this doll, what's important was the gender neutrality of the body. We worked a lot in the shape of the face. A clean, youthful, no makeup face. We have options. Wow. This is this is so this is freaking sad. <laughs> Like I said, I really want to know the sales of this. I'm definitely going to be doing a follow-up on the sales. It's for short hair or long hair. And then even stepping into the accessories and the clothes that come. Everything from jeans to skirts to tennis shoes and a palette of... You got those little pride shirts and everything else like that. Like, I mean, by all means, this is the type of stuff that, that, that Mattel and Barbie does make. Let's not make no mistakes. But now they are explicitly doing it to subvert gender which is gender does isn't a real thing it's sex that's why i use the term unisex at the beginning of the video because these the terms that they're going for everything that they that they say um it's all new it's all damn near brand new okay like these like this it's just there's already a term for it but it's a term that didn't catch on as well as they'd wanted it to so it was like okay you know you know well unisex all right well let's just go the whole gender route and as you can see shoot is taking fire colors that are welcoming to all anytime you're doing something new and different it's challenging but that's part of the process and it's actually um, amazing for a designer to, to come up against things that make us maybe question our own. And my question is, is like, yo, how does how does any of this help these kids like, you know, lead a fulfilling life or anything like that? Like she's getting paid like uh, that other that like I, there's only like I guess the McKnight chick is a 35 percent of like I, I definitely take that one down. But the, the weirdo in the glasses and this uh, crazy eye cat lady looking lady just <laughs> like oh no i'm all right direction the first iteration was a little bit more feminine with the sequins the skirt after research and testing we evolved from the design of the clothing and the okay she's a 35 percenter and as you can see like yeah it started more feminine because y'all all females like you get like you're all females just like oh yeah we're just doing this great thing you got all females the guy that are being paid handsomely to you know like to push this uh push this idea and push this um this narrative hopefully you turn a profit i mean actually i kind of don't want you to turn a profit because that would in t incline that they're like this is something that is really taking hold and i really don't want to see that please parents raise your kids all right, do not allow these toy companies, do not allow any profit-driven entity to raise your child, okay? It has to be you to guide your child. That's your job, and if you didn't want it, then why did you make them? Or to be more 
more gender inclusive. For example, the waistband on these pants, once you remove it, the way it looks is fairly feminine, but with the waistband, it looks a little bit more gender neutral. Yeah, they are that detailed about this stuff. And the deal is, hey, those pants didn't look too bad. In the design of the dolls, we went on this big exploration throughout the United States. So we went to 250 families. A lot of parents knew that this is the wave of the future. This is where... But that's the thing. You ain't going to be parents. Well, I mean, you're going to be parents for as long as you and the child are alive. But what I'm saying is that your children aren't going to be this age, this size for the rest of their life. They're going to have to get out into the real world. And that's what you're supposed to be preparing them for. Not no wave of the damn future. Because in the future, your kids are going to be adults. And they're going to need how to know how to navigate the real world. And that's what you should be indulging them in. That's what you should be preparing them for. Not, oh yeah, well, you know, you like you can be whatever it is you want to be. I mean, shoot, do you want to have a vagina, my son, by all means? No. No. <laughs> Like, this is so ridiculous. This is like, this is literally um, indulging in delusions of grandeur. Society is heading and they want to be aboard on it. They just don't have the tools or the knowledge to kind of. They literally have a, a limited amount of time. Like as far as the guidance that you can give your kids, you got till about the age of 12. All right. Actually, with like eight, eight like eight. Like you have a good like six, seven years to be just like their end all be all. Then eight comes and hey, you know what I'm saying? My friends at the school and then it, and, and it's just from there. So you do not have all this time to be dedicating to, oh my goodness, well, are you a boy or a girl? Who knows? No. And no. Uh-uh. And once they are, if, and once they get, because that's the thing when it comes to like the studies have been done where this, um, this whole gender dysphoria thing is a phase that they go through and, you know, shoot, it's like, oh, wait, wait, no, I have a dick. Okay, cool. I'm a guy. Oh my goodness. I have a vagina. Okay. I'm a chick. And boom, there, there it is. It's done. It's over with. And you go about your life. But this in particular, um, the, the hormone uh, therapy that some parents are putting their children through. I mean, th these things are nuts and it needs to be called out because this is child abuse. You are not setting your child up for a fulfilling life by sitting there and listening to them and, and, and going on their whims, particularly at the age of 10. Come on, stop it. I, their child. Um, what we found is that most of the kids are guiding the conversation anyway. Yeah, like, so what's the best Fortnite game? And, yo, like, <laughs> like, come on, stop it. Just stop. Children are guiding this conversation. And, and until they're not children anymore, until, what, they become teenagers? Then, you know, they're, they're out. No, no, no. Oh, wait, I have discovered sex. I'm, I'm out of this one, all right? I'm gonna go bang this over here. No. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is the, and, uh, this is the most ridiculous thing. It really is, and that's why I think it merited a video because you. It, this has been going, taking place for like thirty years now, man. I promise you guys, the, there are the, these terms. They're all just revamped nonsense from debunked BS from back when your grandpa was a kid. All right, I promise you this. We know what happens when kids feel limitations or we place limitations on a child's identity. You place a limitation on a child in general, okay? They can do... You have to because that's how they learn what rules are and, the, and, and, and that's how they're guided by their parents, not by a toy company. I imagine that a lot of people are going to be so delighted and relieved to have dolls that they could present to their kids that look like them or could look like their friends or could open up more possibilities for their play. Let me tell you something. I, this is a game called uh, Saints Row that I used to love. And the main reason is because you got to customize your character. Everybody loves customization. True enough. But you know what? They'll get to that. Right? I didn't play, what, was it Saints Row? Well, actually, Saints Row didn't, like, come out to, like, four, like, 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 what, 20 or something like that? But either ways, they'll get to that. What you do from, you know, from the moment they're born till about 10, 12 years old is, it, well, the entirety of their life. But particularly in the most formative and vulnerable years of their life, you're supposed to be locking in the lessons that, you know, you want the, the, the person and, and molding the person that you want 
to that you, you you feel can contribute to society and can that can go and live a fulfilling life that can make that can carry on you know your family's legacy or your family's name that type of stuff as opposed to oh no kid by all means whatever you want oh you want to I mean, guys i ate an entire box of cookies for dinner all right i i do that sometimes why because i'm an adult and i can do that now but you know when i couldn't do that i couldn't do that as a kid because hey you need all your nutrients and everything else like that so <laughs> these are the rules these this is the game that you play if you're a parent and you're like oh my goodness i don't know how to be a parent well i mean not not to the but to belittle like you know um parents and stuff like that but what i'm saying is just that like yo if you are your job is to guide Okay, if you're confused at any point in time, your got your job is to guide. All right. Oh my goodness. And I imagine that this will be really challenging for a population of people. This conversation around gender challenging. Oh, this isn't a challenge at all. You wrong, lady. Oh, it's so challenging. No, it's not a challenge at all. You are wrong. And all play. I don't expect it to be easy, but I know it's important. And I believe that a company like Mattel taking the risk to have this conversation is important. That's right, Mattel taking the the, the risk to have this conversation because you damn sure I, you know you you know I'm here. Let's uh let's see who who can we get where can we get to? Yep, yep. All right, yeah, because uh, this is uh, fortunately the hottest woman in this entire video. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, you like I said, not a single penis in sight. This is all just gynocentrism, feminism, all just spewing into, uh, you know, the into children's play in the children's world. And that's ridiculous, you know, like that the, the Mattel is not your place. Your place is to make money. So hopefully this is a, a this is a a, a dud and. We don't have a ton of parents out here decide, oh, yeah, I'm going to let my kid be gender neutral. Like, nah, like, no, just no. So, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. If you dislike it, yeah, go ahead. Do that too. I ain't scared of your sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get videos like this every single day, share. Because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you didn't like. Not the biggest fans. And speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Uh, is <laughs> Like, if, 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 if I'm wrong... That's what I'm here for. I'm here to be wrong. I'd love to be wrong. Maybe somebody has an argument for me that can change, you know, how I'm seeing this. But as of right now, mm, nah, but like I said, that's what the comments for until the next one.